Hey folks, it's Cool Guy and Lunathex here again, and a lot of people have been asking us about our insights into the new 1.6 patch that just came, uh, came out for Vermintide. So that's what we're here to talk about about today. Lunathex, what you got for us? So it's a free DLC leading up to the next, you know, paid DLC, as is Fat Shark's method. So it's called Lore Book. So we'll just get that one out of the way real fast. That's a lore book. It's basically Warhammer lore. If you don't know anything about it, it adds collectibles to the maps. Three for maps that have three tomes, two grims, and only two that can be collected entirely on the small maps like Wellwatch or Waterfront. But you can get three on the on the main maps, so to speak. It's just... I, th th this is all there is to it. You just find pages that are scattered around in, uh, in out-of-the-way places like this right here. There's no mechanical changes at all with, with get, uh, getting these things, but it... It provides a lot, a lot of nice bits of extras, you know. I mean, because the char uh, the heroes themselves are constantly ma uh, making references to Warhammer for uh, Warhammer Fantasy lore. And Sackrats also drop them. Sackrats drop. That is the weirdest change to me, to be perfectly honest with you. Either way, that, that's all there is to it. It's just another reason to play your levels all over again. Now that they did more balancing, we'll get the we'll get the one that's not worth a video look at out of the way because this one might be a little bit important. <laughs> Weapon damages to the Ogren Packmaster, specifically their resistant armor type, were changed up and down for a lot of light attacks out there. Probably because they want to introduce a new enemy with that armor type in the future, but we'll see. I don't really approve of the Karelian weaponry changes here because nothing else was really improved to make up for it, but. I'm sure they have some kind of justification. The changes for to Carillion's weaponry are really the are the only things that I've no, uh, noticed a big different uh, difference in. You know, she feels a little bit more balanced now. I always felt she was overpowered in 1.5. Damage over time consistency has been fixed. So instead of the storm vermin and uh, ogre building up a resistance after half their health is gone, you know, it, I'm, I'm just putting this in here to. Uh, rub it in that uh, the Hagbane is not inferior to the True Flight. Oh yeah, no, the ha the Hagbane is, was always good, and it's much better now that uh, that the consistency has been uh, has been fixed. Uh, this also... I... <laughs> yeah, yeah, here we go. Skullcracker, also been fixed for projectile weapons. I'm honestly really happy that uh, that that's hap happened. The Skullcracker has been broken for a long ass time, and have, uh, having it finally work on the uh, on the projectile weapons is an absolute joy. <laughs> it's not gonna work like that. I'm, you know, we just gotta rub it in that it's fixed. It took them only a year <laughs> and a half. And here's a really odd change: is they fix Saltspire's rapier so that when you fully charge it, you can now hit two rats. Although I don't see anybody ever using this. I it's incredibly niche. I mean I, I get the the main reason I, I can I can see it happening, you know, just from a technical perspective is it was a bug. Bugs must be fixed. Fix so staves got fit. Staves got changed around. Conflagration, the damage over time's being fixed has really given this staff a boost. And mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure they just copied the firebomb damage template to the fire patch, so the fire patch now does a lot of damage. There's also a sound effect that plays when you are fully charged now. Yeah, when it's full, uh, when it's fully charged now, the uh, the changes to the damage o over time actually al also help the conflagration staff in terms of friendly fire. It still does friendly fire, but because the damage over time is nerfed against uh, against um, your al uh, your allies. It effectively does much less friendly fire damage now. It, it's still a good staff, still my favorite. I mean, what's not to like about this thing? Oh yeah, there is uh, there is everything to love about the conflagration staff. It was it, it was the the big the big thing that I will I will put it at at though. In 1.5, I had always considered that you know there were two horde uh, horde control stat, uh, staves that Sienna had. One was the conflagration, the other was the fireball. And the fireball was clearly superior in 1.5. With all of the cha uh, changes now, I call it a toss up. The bolt staff charges way faster, locks on supposedly faster. There's still some kinks with that, but it's still a special bleeder. It's still kind of it's still in the meh trough. Right. You the. 
the uh, the pro the only problem with the bolt staff is that is that headshots you know, I mean, matter a lot more because they lowered the damage but increased the headshot multiplier. So you need right. headshots on Kata. Right. You know, I mean, it's it's just a little a little bit a little bit weird uh, weird to use. But you know, again, it still is the be uh, the better of the two deleter staff uh, staffs that she has. The beam staff did not get changed at all, so the beam staff is still like objectively King. worse. No, beam staff's great. Are you kidding? It's it, the attack speed ramps up so fast on the ogre. On the ogre, yeah. On on mo most and of the, the rest of the specials, it takes much the longer. The beam to kill alternate people. attack there, where you blast them with the beam, does all the damage. Fireball relies entirely on charge now. Yes, by, uh, the only reason. It actually makes fire. sense now. Mm-hmm. This is, I feel like this is in line with their vision of the Fireball staff. That was the other par uh, part of the change that, uh, that made me say that, you know, I mean, Fireball and Conflagration are kind of two halves of the same coin now. Yeah, I guess it just depends on what you want to use more. You have to, you have to really learn to arc this thing. You can't bomb Storm Vermin with st spam bolt Fireballs anymore unless you've drank a Strength Potion. Right. But you can still kill entire patrols, just, you know. <laughs> the radius is actually a little bit bigger. The uh, damage to the ogre, you, you can actually still spam him with the strength potion, so no worries there. I'd say the fireball definitely edges out the conflagration on ogre killing, so. Yeah. I mean, if you wanted a more useful staff, then I mean, I think conflagration's still a little bit worse than fireball, but yeah, I I, I think I think that I think that there's enough ups upsides and downsides and give for uh, for individual play style that I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't turn up my nose at either one of them at this point. Overall, I'm pretty. Uh, I've been pretty pleased with the path uh, with the patch, the um ba uh, the balancing has really just been in terms of bug fixing the and the the light touch that uh, that they had beyond that you know i mean i'm pretty pleased with it i know i know you're not quite a, uh, quite as satisfied with a lot of the changes loon but i feel i see very little to bitch about well I, all i'm bitching about is just how they keep making silly changes like oh let's nerf the glaive more oh let's uh just mess with elf weapons again Let's just make it is it is very uh, very strange to uh, to do things to uh, to a number of of weapon of weapons that you're otherwise not touching. That is true.